Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do that. Let's see what's on today. Gonna like that. Oh, what's this? Mm, gonna like that. Uh, let's see what's on trending. Hmm. Nothing too interesting. Maybe we can refresh it. Uh, what's this? Amber Hurden's abuse. What the fuck is this? So, my first video coming back to YouTube and it's on this mess. Wonderful. Now, don't get me wrong. When this first came out years ago, I was in disbelief. I honestly didn't believe Johnny Depp would abuse any of his partners. Heck, when you see old interviews, you can tell that they're all telling the truth. A lot of them have. And I really didn't see him as a bad guy. I saw him as, like, a really sweet and caring person, like fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. Says a lot about me, but I saw a lot of tweets defending Amber, inciting with her, and I really didn't know what to do. I kind of just was standing in the dark. I was like, oh well, I can't say anything, or else I'm gonna be told that I uh, side with abusers, which I didn't want to. I mean, no one wants to. So I kind of was just in the dark and didn't want to say anything. But now that we actually have actual proof, video proof, well video, well, cell phone proof that Amber was the one abusing Johnny and not the other way around, I really feel like I should make a video on my own. And I know someone out there is going to be like, oh, why are you making a video now? Don't you want to wait or something like that? It, I just want to do it now. I don't want to be told that I was late to the party. I don't think anyone wants to. So, here's the first post that gives us the proof that we need. The post state, TW, abuse survivors. Here's the audio where Amber Heard mocks Johnny Depp for calling for help while she was abusing him. She then loses her temper and fully admits to abusing him, but proceeds to shame him again. Yikes. Now, I didn't listen to the video. I couldn't bring myself to listen to it. But I did find in the same post that the video call was subtitled for those who couldn't hear or people like me who didn't want to listen to it. So, in the description, I will link the tweet for everyone who wants to listen to it. Now, for my main reason why I didn't listen to it is because I really didn't want to hear the distress because everyone in the comments were like, oh, you can hear how sad he was. I was like, I didn't want to hear that. I don't want to hear people sad or in pain or anything like that. I think that's really bad. But after that tweet was shown, a whole, a whole bunch of people retweeted the tweet, posted their own tweets about the situation, made a hashtag, hashtag that was trending for a bit. It's not on mine anymore, but it was, ooh, this morning. And a lot of people are even admitting that they feel bad for believing Amber, which honestly, I understand why people feel sad because, I mean, a lot of people usually believe the women, which is usually the case, but in this situation, I feel like a lot of us do need to apologize if they did side with Amber. And part of me was proud that people were siding with Johnny. And a lot of people were even stating like, Oh, I stood up with him because I knew that from the beginning that it couldn't be true. But there's always a few that won't believe anything. Even when it's actual proof. Meet Taylor Fan 2020. Now, whether this person is a bot or not, this person is still shitty in how they are reacting to what is currently happening. Some of their tweets are just plain offensive and rude. Hashtag, I stand by Amber. Johnny Depp is a monster. It keeps going. 
Now, I'm going to say this now. Do not go and give this person any hate. By the look of the comments, people are already doing so. But they might be a troll who doesn't deserve any kind of a comment or feedback. But little, why are you giving them attention if you told us not to? Good question. My reason is simple. More people might think this way. But because this person was very outgoing and very proud of their tweets, I thought they were a good example of what not to do. They don't care what others say. But let's move on to the best part of this. Now, we're going to be looking at Amber Heard's account, aka their Instagram account. And trust me, it's a gold mine. Now, by the look of their account, it doesn't look that bad. Really nice pictures. Their makeup is really stunning, which I can say that for a fact because I can't do makeup for shit. <laughs> but when you look at the recent post and you look at the caption, oh dear, but it gets better. Their comments, oh, I love the people in these comments. Now you might be wondering, Lil, what's the point of this video? Very simple. Johnny had lost so much from what happened years ago. All the hate, losing his roles in movies and upcoming movies. His reputation was ruined by this woman. You know what? Actually, Amber doesn't get to be called a woman because she ruined Johnny. She doesn't get to be called this title because what she did to him was the worst thing you can do because she used her gender and knew for a fact people were going to stand by her side because she was a woman and knew she could get away with it and that's one thing I don't like when people do when they use their gender and know for a fact people are going to believe them because of it and she used the Me Too movement for her own personal gain. And used her lies, which is the worst thing. Especially since we all know Johnny is a good person. So Amber Heard is an abuser and a bitch. Now you may come at me in the comments and be like, oh, don't you think that's a little harsh? No, I don't care. She doesn't deserve to be called a woman because of what she did. I wouldn't care if she lost her roles in any upcoming movies or lost all of her followers or at least her t check mark like that means anything anymore. What she did to Amber, what, what she did to Johnny was the worst thing. He lost it. And I think she deserves it too. She deserves to go through exactly what she put him through. And I'm glad. I am so glad she's being called out. And it's just wonderful what people can do. <sighs> I really need a smoke break from this. But before that, I want to thank everyone for welcoming me back into this community again and back onto onto YouTube life was very stressful last year and when I stopped making videos but part of me is thinking to myself great I get to make a video on this and probably have people hate me for it honestly I really don't care this is something that's important and I really do think people need to know about this situation and I am glad I'm back. And I hope I can make more videos for you guys. More content. More whatever happens. And honestly, this was very interesting for me, at least. Seeing all this happen. Can't really do much except wait and see what happens now.
Though I am hoping for something. Whatever it may be. So, until I see you next time. Peace.